I'm Professor Philip Nolan. I'm president of Maynooth University. People who look at Maynooth from the outside, the thing that immediately strikes them is just how dynamic the institution is, how innovative, and this very strong sense of momentum, very strong sense of rapid growth, and very strong sense that we're making a real contribution to our region, to our country, and are having a significant impact globally. My name is Connor Simpson and I'm Mideast Regional Manager for IDA Ireland. When you look at the skill sets within the university and you look at the research capability that's there, we often say that Maynooth University is one of the best kept secrets of the region. I'm Baroness Nula Olone and I'm the Chair of the Governing Authority. I think Maynooth University seeks to develop in the student the capacities, the skills, the experience, the confidence which will equip them to go out into the world and to contribute to society in a way that I don't think other universities do. Many students come to university not knowing what it is they're going to do with the rest of their life. The Maynooth experience between the undergraduate and the postgraduate experience is designed to enable them to develop a determination that, that this is where they actually want to work and this is what they actually want to do. technology. So my name is Rachel Ralph and I'm doing a BA in Media Technology. I chose Maynooth to be able to mix and match different subjects. When I initially came into first year, a lot of my computer science lectures thought I was crazy because I took computer science, I was doing Chinese and I was doing anthropology in first year and they were like, how do they even relate? Students have the capacity to range across different disciplines and different subjects, assembling their own portfolio of learning and their own set of skills, making them unique as graduates when they emerge from the institution. The bedrock for us is world-class research and bringing together in this campus some of the best researchers in Ireland and in Europe to focus on really important problems. We hope that the research carried out in this lab will have a significant impact um, on the lives of patients who are suffering from chronic inflammatory disorders in reducing their level of pain and increasing their quality of life. My work on observations of climate change really are foundational to everything about climate change science. Without observing, we can't know what has happened. Without knowing what's happened, it's impossible to predict what may happen in the future. It's one thing to have a lot of technology advancement, but we must do this in parallel with society, with communities, with the rest of the world. We can't do it in isolation. Our research is focused on problems that face modern society but we bring very different perspectives and very different disciplines to bear on those research problems. One of the key strengths of many of our projects is that they are what we call engaged research. So they are not just about producing data and academic papers, etc. They're also about shaping the policy agenda rather than pure applied research for its own sake. My name is Rose Ryan, I'm the Director of Access at the Maynooth University Access Programme. The Maynooth uh, University Access Programme reaches out into communities that have traditionally had less of a likelihood of progressing to higher education and we work with those groups, their families, their communities in partnership to try to support them into higher education um, but also helping them once they're here to settle in, connect to the university and connect to the campus. My name is Ian Diop, I am 23 years of age, I'm from Tallaght and I'm about to graduate in psychology. For people like myself, it, it, it was tougher um, getting into third level education um, than most. So if I didn't have the supports provided, I definitely would have left college a long time ago. The ideas of the future emerge in dialogue between people from different perspectives and different cultures. And for that reason, we enrich the campus here and we strengthen it by being diverse in the students that we recruit, diverse in the staff that we appoint. And a really important part of that is to be international. My name is Siddhartha Roy and I'm from Kolkata in India. And I'm currently doing my postgraduate masters in international business law from Munich University. The cultural and the global experience that I've gained by coming here to Maynooth and mixing with people from all over the world, I've been able to learn a lot and 
uh, gain various new perspectives across different avenues in life. It's a very active campus. It's a variety of clubs and societies. And it's a wonderful opportunity to meet other people and to talk to them. My experiences overall that I achieved from the university would be something that I would carry along with me for the rest of my life. Our alumni were so proud of where they've found themselves. We have alumni who are ambassadors, we have alumni who are social innovators, uh, we have alumni leading major finance houses. So the diversity of destinations for our alumni is their striking feature and the fundamental skills that they learnt at university how they're applying those in the careers is really quite striking for us and something we're very proud of. I'm Mario Donoghue and I work in PwC in the People and Consulting Advisory Practice. It's so not necessarily a traditional path to move from a, a BA in English and Geography into Management Consulting, but I felt that the, the range and breadth of subjects which I had access to and exposure to is definitely something that has led me into this as a career. Europe's Rosetta Cometary Probe is today travelling into deep space in its quest to discover the origins of life. My name is Lawrence O'Rourke. I work in the European Space Agency as the Rosetta Science Operations Manager. Manute built on the, the interest I had in science and made, made me uh, who I am today in, in, in reality. It's, uh, it uh, created a foundation which was, uh, which was extraordinary in nature and which uh, I, I continue to rely on in my day-to-day -day life. Out of the city, a place dedicated to learning. It's impossible to come to this place and not be inspired. Whatever you're doing on the campus is simply an inspirational place to work because of the interest and the enthusiasm of the people and the environment in which we're lucky enough to work.